Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, encode for YouTube. If you ever gotten this error right here, I took a picture of this when I was a while, while back. Uh, move this out of the way again. And zoom in. Okay, it says right here you upload a widescreen 6x9 video, or 16x9. If your original was 720 or greater, you know, 1080 by 720 or greater, we encourage you to submit your original resolution to enable better quality playback. Now, uh, <clears throat> with that, the the website or the link it takes you to it doesn't help you at all. This link right here helps you encoding for YouTube advanced specifications. Now, this tells you what the specifications are for your video you need to put in so you can get 1080p. So I'll be showing you that in my in my uh, recording software. So basically, um. I'm not sure how it is for you guys, but when I when I make a video, let's just drag something in here. Just do bird bath and that and tulips. When I insert when I do that, whatever. Let me just see if it works. Yeah, see it works. And then I go to the produce tab for me. And it gives me this option screen that I can need I always do MP4, MGP4. So you can also directly directly do it from here but that works but it it's um what do you call it it overheats my computer because it takes so long but you, I just use and I recommend it MP, MPEG4 it's the best honestly I think it is it takes a long time it takes about two hours for me to render it like but that's not com compared to how long it takes me to upload it so it takes me to upload like in maybe an hour and 30 minutes maybe it takes to upload for me and that that's a lot better. And if I do AVI, it takes me about two days to upload a video. Video, so I have to leave my computer on and doing that. And you people should see my internet connection. It's uh below one is my upload speed. <laughs> so if I look in here, I got a custom YouTube upload profile quality. I made this myself. And I'll go into here and I'll show you and say details. See, here's a video codec and everything. But I'll be making a new one. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let's just say test. For YouTube video. Now your thing should have some like options or something if you don't have this one. But that doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go to the YouTube page or this page. Let's drag it like this. And let's take let me exit out of this really quick. So I can drag this over. Okay. And we'll just go back in there and Edit. Oh wait. Edit. There we go. So let me move this out of the way. So it says. Let's look right here. What it says. It says progressive scan, no interlacing. So we gotta look for that. Frame type progressive. Okay. Frame rate. Want to make the highest. Whatever you recorded your, whatever you're recording currently on. So I'll go look at mine. And I'll show you. 30 FPS. So. Alright, sorry about that. I accidentally clicked the X on my thing. I gotta click the minimize button. So back to that. Um, make sure when you're under the uh, the settings, uh, look for quality. Quality's 100 for me, so that's the that's good. That's what you want to want to do it. So you can have a HD, because it might say just 1080p, but the video is actually not 1080p, but it registers it as that. It'll still be like 480p quality. So you want to make sure that's all the way cranked up. Make sure I click minus that time. <laughs> Okay, so back to this. Let's open this back up. And edit this again. So video. 30, progressive, profile type, high profile. Good. Put that on. And trap coding. We want the C-A-B-A-C. Rate control. I'm not sure. that it, I think that was yeah, no bit rate. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So just leave that alone. Leave that alone. What resolution do you want now? Let's say you, if you want to do a 480p video. Uh, I think it's. Oh wait, I want to do twelve eighty, or maybe not. Yeah. So for YouTube, you want to do twelve eighty by seven twenty as your uh, your re resolution. If I scroll down to here, you'll see. Oh wait, never mind. Nineteen twenty. Also, crank that all the way up. If you want to do four eighty, you want to eight fifty four by. I don't have that option, so whatever. And I uh, six fifty. I have do have. 360 though, and I do 720. I do have two, so yeah. 
So you want if you want to do 1080p, you click that. If you want to do 720, you do that one. So depends on what your preference is. So audio. Now audio, I don't think you really have to tweak with this as much, that much. But audio AAC LC, you know, option you would have anyways. The compression rate, I don't think it even matters. Let's see, 90, 96 to 48. So just do 96. So now, there you go. So now that will be uh, if you go back to the uh, now this 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 template I made now will uh, work fine. I had this for a while. I had this AMD accelerated rendering technology for like a day or something. I got the, I got I have the software, but it doesn't do work. And it goes so fast. It like renders in like a second. I don't know what they do, but it does. <laughs> but so I wish I still had that. So, yeah, that's basically how it works. But you cannot, I don't think you can do that with, yeah, you can't make a custom profile with AVI. So don't even, I, I don't recommend using AVI. It's just, it doesn't work. MP4 is definitely the best. It makes a smaller file when you render it, so it makes it less stuff to upload, but it still keeps the great quality, which is great. So, yeah, basically that's how it works. And, uh, you know, yeah, I'll do, I'm going to do another video on a second uh, power director, uh, Review because I found out where you know how I'm the outro and everything. I have the pip and everything, or have the little videos hovering over that and everything, and like the the the, the uh, snow and everything. I'm gonna show you guys how I'll do that. So I'll see y'all later and uh, adios.